Hello everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learningdslrvideo.com, and happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. I don't know, somewhat of an international audience. I know I get a lot of people from other countries other than the United States, and I don't know if you guys celebrate Father's Day there, but happy Father's Day to everybody that does celebrate it. And after this video, I think I'm going to go grab a beer and grill out and all that good stuff. Maybe even take a nap. <laughs> Watch some golf. Um... What is a .thm file? I always kind of wondered, so I did some investigating, and this is what I came up with. The .thm file is a file that's created on the, um, the Canon camera. And I don't know if Nikon makes these as well. I'm sure they do, but basically when you hit the play button on the back of the camera uh, for the video files that you have, it's going to display an image, and that's your thumbnail. And now when you bring it on the card into your computer, the question you might ask is, I have all these .thm files, it's cluttering up my file system, do I need them, can I delete them? Well, the answer is yes and no, it depends on what you want to do. Um, for instance, right here I have imported uh, a couple of files, these two different movies. And here's the .thm file that's associated with the .mov file. You can see they have the same numbering structure. If you right click on the um, property, if you're a Windows guy, um, you will get some, some metadata, not too much. But what's interesting is let's say you take this and let's drag it to the desktop and we change it to a .jpg file. And it says, yeah, blah, 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 blah. We ought to change it, sure. And now you can actually see the actual image appear on the desktop. Now, if I right click on this, we get more information in the details area. You can see how big it is, dots per square inch, but you get more um, EXIF, uh, e -X -I -F data, uh, the, how it was shot and all this stuff. And here's an interesting one. I didn't know it was available. It ever, ever tells you the metering mode, which um, is very difficult to tell what metering mode you are in, in the video mode. So this is kind of neat. So you get all this metadata. So if you delete this file, obviously all that metadata is going to go with it. So if you ever wondered, oh, man, I, that was a beautiful shot and it was just the right lighting and I had everything set. You know, what was my ISO set at? What was my, you know, exposure time set at? I want to know so I can repeat it. Well. In that case, you don't want to, you know, delete it. Um, but if you feel like it's cluttering up your computer, go ahead and delete it if you don't need that information. Because uh, when you go to open up like Sony Vegas, Sony Vegas doesn't use those thumbnails. Um, and for instance, right here, this particular thumbnail, uh, these are the uh, raw files for photos <laughs> that I use Lightroom. But this this thumbnail right here was not generated by the camera. It was generated by Windows um, and it's stored someplace different and um, so once you pull it off the camera you really don't need it if you don't need all that metadata so hope that helps everybody and if anybody knows any more about this this extension uh, let me know and that's all I got for today and happy Father's Day to everybody out there. Alright see you guys later.